took that. What's up YouTube? Cordell here. Today we're talking about the new Roasties RF1 frame. Uh, I wasn't going to originally do a review on it, but I realized no one else has really put a lot of input on this frame. So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about it and yeah, let's get into it. So that's what it looks like up close on the side walls. It's kind of what the H block and wheels look like. It's pretty similar to I think it feels like kind of in between the Cree Originals H block and the Fluid 4 H block. It's um, a little bit bigger than the Create split, it's a little smaller than the Fluid 4 split. And the H block feels really good. I really, it's deep enough, but not too deep. I think it locks really great for torques and royales and everything. Um, yeah, it's good H block. You don't have to really break it in a whole lot. Like some frames, it kind of comes ready to go out of the box, which is nice and something you can't say for some of the other frames on the market. It has these bridges right here. So putting the anti-rockers in is a little easier and it also just uh, puts a little bit more rigidity into the entire frame in general, helping you keep more energy transfer for speedy and rolling around, which is nice. But I have noticed due to it being extra stiff, from the stiffening bridges, it does make it feel for anti-rocker even a little bit more train tracky than other frames that are the same length. And I think that's just because it makes it stiffer. When you have a flexier frame, um, you can kind of push into it more. It has one-sided hardware, which I really like, kind of like the ground controller, the them hardware. So you only have to have one Allen key to take out the bolts on the other side to switch out your wheels and stuff like that which is nice and it goes, skates super well on both the Rossi's M12 and the Rossi's Fifth Element, but it also skates really well on the Razor's SL and I'm sure it would skate great on other skates too, but those are kind of the three skates I skated on it. Um, another really cool feature about this frame that I don't think very many other frames really have is if you look, it kind of has this so you have like a thicker plastic right there that protects and covers your bolts and then it divots in so it kind of gives you this ditch. And what I found is on coping and rails when you do top side especially or even just normal tricks and you're leaning over, it really kind of the edge of the rail goes into that little slot and it really holds you nice. So for top sides, um, especially on rails, it's, it locks really nice and I really like that about that frame. Um, it comes in a 264 and a 246, I believe, which those sizes aren't really my favorite. I think 264 is a little long for my personal liking. I think more companies need to make a true 260 millimeter even frame, but that's just, that's a hot take for a whole other video. Um, but yeah, I hope you like the footage of me doing some tricks with this frame and let me know what you think. Did I nail it? Did I miss some things? Did I get it right? Let's have a conversation about it in the comments. Thanks for watching.